Hello, Twin Minds here. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Let's get back into the shop. A few hours and a long stream later, I'm back. And we have some upgrades. I decided to uh, continue on and see if we can progress a little bit later into the game. So I have some upgrades including uh, examination speed, screwing speed, part removal speed, some discounts, uh, the ability to repair, although I don't believe I have the facilities unlocked for that. Because that's over here, and I do have additional diagnostics, including uh, electronic diagnostics, fuel pressure, uh, compression testers, onboard diagnostics, and also a test path and a car wash. So, let's see what this kind of stuff can get me. We have new jobs available as well. I have a few extra levels under my belt, so I have more available here. Let's see if we can start off with a simple brake problem. Now, we should be able to just go straight to the test path and see if we can get information on the brake. Alright, front driver's side brake's kind of dead. Rear driver's side also needs some help. The shock test is passable. Rear shock is passable as well. Fair enough. So, we need to do um, brake disc, pad, and pad and caliper on both wheels. So, disc on the front, pad and caliper on both sides of the driver's side. So, let's get the thing moved in and see if we can take care of that. Now, also, gotta wait for it to lift. Anything else we need? We do have a part not discovered, but it's a brake part, so it shouldn't be too terribly difficult to discover. Alright, let me uh, go ahead and clear out my shopping list here and get stuff added. So we need the brake caliper, we need pad, ventilated, uh, the cylinder's fine on that one, okay, all this looks fine, and actually I'm going to go ahead and just do them one wheel at a time, because I've done some stupid things in the past and I'd rather not do that again, so we need two calipers, we need two brake pads, and we need this ventilated disc. Now that one seems fine, and the caliper on that was fine, so is that... Was it the caliper on one of the other ones? Yeah, that one. Okay, let's take a look at this one as well. Yeah, it looks fine at a glance, but I might need to poke at it. Now they did mention brake problems, and I do believe I still have a, an undiscovered part, so we'll probably have to take a look at the brake fluids as well. Actually, before I take that off, let's 
go ahead and finish this side. Calipers coming off, and I'm going to check the pad anyway just to see what the percentage is on it. Uh, it says it's 67, so we should be good. Caliper can go back on then. this side. Let's take it apart anyway. At the very least I can take care of that rusty bolt. Yeah, it all looks fine. Yeah, all, all looks fine. Take a look at the brake fluid. Yep, we have an ABS module that looks like it's dead here. I don't know if that's something that I can scan from the outside. Nope, that is not something I can scan from the outside, at least not with my current tools. Uh, I am curious what other tools might offer. Let's just do the OBD scanner and see what it says. Yep, it was able to find the ABS module. Perfect. Alright. So that's over here. Now the only thing I don't know is if removing the ABS module is going to pop open the fluids. I know we've got the pump here, so that should be standalone. I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. I think it's like a $50 fine for dropping fluids. Yeah, it looks like that was fine. Alright, let's go ahead and replace that. I believe that's going to go under electronics. Yeah, ABS module, right there. Just to make sure I've got the right one. Perfect. Wonderful. And that is all of their brake problems taken care of. That was easy enough. The extra tools to diagnose things are very handy. Let's see. Car doesn't start. Oh, never mind. <laughs> let's let's do this one. Lack of engine power. Fix and let uh, fix and find all engine problems. Nah. How about we do a story mission? Hey, don't ask me what happened to my car. I wanted to impress this one girl. And I think I might have crossed some big bushes, holes, and stones. And I probably passed a cactus on my way. Or perhaps two. Please spare me the reprimand as, as to the purpose of this car. While you're at it, check the fluid level. With this amount of sand, I was quickly out of wiper fluid. It was worth it is all I will say. Let me know how the repair goes. Sure. Sure. I hope, I hope the lady was impressed. Oh, lordy. <laughs> you're, miss you're missing a front bumper. Uh, and you're missing a tire. Um, what did you do to this car? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Let's see. 
a couple things wrong, some undiscovered. A couple things wrong. Change coolant fluid and refill windscreen fluid. Great. I, I suppose I won't ask. Can I move you into the car wash and get this thing cleaned up first? Let's do that, shall we? No, I don't want to. I don't want an interior. I want an exterior. Um. Well, it's better. It's not great, but it's better for sure. Um, interior not too terribly pleasant. What's the cost on that? Nothing changed, and there doesn't appear to be a cost to that. I'll I'll take it. All right, let's move you to the lift because I can't really do a path test on you with a missing wheel. That's cool. I appreciate it. Oh, let's see. Rims. Ugh. That one's fine. That one's fine. This one's just straight up missing. And this one's pretty beat up. Alright. So the tire's fine, but that rim was pretty much dead. So let's clear this out again. I'm gonna have to buy two new rims because I still don't have the repair capabilities yet. Uh, where are the rims at? Oh, at the rim shop. Go figure. Oh, I didn't check the size, did I? Let's find out. 19 inch. And the AT was zero. Alright, and you're also missing a tire, so I need to order one to match. Uh, 325, 35R19. I probably should actually check to see what type of tire that is. Sport tire. That's the only part that I'm missing out of this so far, is the ability to get this information while setting up the order for the tire. Because you can get to here, but you can't get the information for it. And my memory is not that good. 235, 35, 19. That should be good. Yeah, it was a three five and not a four five. Curse my memory. I will most likely never be able to use that specific size tire. So I probably should sell it. And it's it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and assemble those wheels. And then we can get them balanced after this.
Great. So, before I go assembling those wheels, is there anything else I should know about the undercarriage of this thing? Uh, oil pan, sport tire, intercooler, bumper, fender, license page, mirror, all that other fun stuff. Fluids. Doesn't look like it. Should be good from here. Okay. Nope, it looks like I gotta do the steering racks. I can't mount these tires yet. So need to do the front exhaust section. I need to do the oil pan, which means I also need to get it up because I need to drain the oil before I cause myself even more of a mess. Let's do that. Okay. Pan's gotta go. All the interiors look good. Oh, I suppose I have to do the. Uh, eh, actually, let's replace a couple of the things first. going back in and hope I don't have to disassemble the rest of the engine. Right, I'm not going to throw the wheels on just yet because there's a solid chance I'll have to take those back off again before I'm done. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'll put them on near the end. Radiator A has to go. Let's go ahead and get that replaced as well. All that looks good. Where's the center cooler? So I don't have to dig for it. Ugh, front. And it is just straight up missing. Okay. Well, let's add that to the list. Rack's done. Exhaust is done. Oil pan's done. Radiator's done. Okay. Uh, rims are going to be good. Sport's good. Rack is good. Part's not discovered yet. I don't know what those parts not discovered yet are, but it might be the alternator. We should be able to do an electronic test. Alternator's crap. Everything else is in good order. Okay. I kind of knew the alternator was crap, though, just from looking at it. 
And let's do ODB just in case. Yep, all those look fine. Great. Anything else I should check? Can't really turn it on. Ah, we should be good. Okay. So that gave me one more part discovered. What else is missing in here? We have a dead belt. No. Looks like it might be on its way out, but it's not dead. Now my least favorite parts are the rubber bushings, because I can never see them when I need to. Those all look fine. Everything looks good so far. Let's take a peek at the back section. Bushings look okay. Without tearing apart the wheels, the brakes look fine. Oh, brakes. I probably should check the brakes, shouldn't I? Uh, these look fine, but I should probably take them off to see what their actual stats are. 90s. 90s looks fine. This car is in pretty decent shape considering what he's managed to do to it. And those look also just as fine. So let's go ahead and get the other missing parts. Oop, I'm over here now. Take off a couple things here. Ah, that belt. That belt was bad. Okay. It, it looked kind of funky, but it didn't stand out as fully broken to me. But I guess I'll have to look closer at those. All right, new alternator in. And I'll need to go order that new belt. And that counts as that last part that I couldn't find before, so we're good there. lift it up to do the other cooling thing here. Kind of stands out a little bit seeing as there's no bumper to attach it to, but that's fine. Let's get a bumper. Missing headlights, missing fenders, just just all sorts of fun stuff. And if I were to look at the body parts, we also need to do the right fender, the hood, front license plate. I'll have to grab the front license plate once I've got that installed. Uh, the mirrors also need to be done. Yep, mirrors, 
windshield. But that one's just missing. Good lord. And the big question now is since I have such a tight budget here, can I even afford it? It's looking like I might not be able to afford it. Let's get some of this installed then. Don't tell me I accidentally bought two right mirrors. That would have been silly of me. I didn't buy any mirrors. Fair enough. And I didn't buy the hood yet. All right, how are we looking parts-wise here? I need to do the wheels, that's fine. Uh, front license plate, I need to buy the hood and the two mirrors. I don't have that either, okay. So, I don't have nearly enough money for that. License plate is where exactly? Also, where's that hood? That hood is expensive. Okie dokie. Um, sure. A little bit of money. You know, it's a, it's a it's a multicolored beast, but it's not too bad. Overall, not terrible. Now, license plate. Where's the license plate? Are you add-ons? No. Nope. License plate. There's a shop for that. I don't have enough money for that. Cool. Let's fix that problem. Oh, am I supposed to put... Oh. Am I supposed to actually give him an actual license plate number? Let's hope I can remember that. <laughs> That looks right, right? That can't possibly be a problem. Oh, it's 9.50 once you actually put in a license. Oh, okay. Well, I read 100 bucks and thought I had enough. Great. Uh, you don't need a front license, right? Which state are we in? Cool. Let's go ahead and put together some of this other stuff then. Is there a reason? Yes, there is a reason because I'm missing steps. Important steps.
Okay. So, we are done with everything but that license plate and some fluid changing. I suppose I should probably put oil in there too. You might want that. Let's take care of the fluids. Steering's good, brake is good, coolant's good, oil. That should be fine, right? Where's that stick? There we are. Dipstick. Oh, that was perfect. I didn't even overfill it. Great. Now, according to all of this, I am as done as can be except for that front license plate. So, aside from the silly factor of the client should be the one ordering their own dang license plates, uh, I don't have enough money for that. And I don't have much else to sell to make money for that. Don't ask why I have an extra throttle. It's silly. They have an oil filter, right? <laughs> I did give them an oil filter. Yes, just making sure that was an extra. Yeah, that can get sold too. So, I still don't have enough. So what we could do is we could go do another job. So let's move you out into the entrance. And let's see about something I could afford to do. Like maybe some brakes. Brake problems and quote unquote other tasks. I may not be able to afford quote unquote other tasks. Um, all right, here's a simple brake problem. So let's do that. Hopefully. Brake problems. Let's get you into path testing and see if we can figure out where your brake problems are and get it done quickly. the everything for the rear brakes. We have two dead discs, caliper pads, ventilated disc, etc, etc. Alright, let's get you moved in. Alright, just to make sure that we've got all the right ones, let's go ahead and just highlight it. Uh, nope, looks like we have some front brake issues as well. Dead brake pad, dead brake disc. I'm just going to do one side at a time because I have caused problems before. Good. 
Looks like another break and disc. Great. Easy enough. Now, I do believe part of my money situation is due to the fact that I don't have a lot of the refurbishing options yet. So if I had the option to refurbish a lot of the parts that I've been gathering, I could either reuse them or resell them for a decent amount of money. As it stands right now, I just kind of have to do jobs. I could have probably held on to almost all of the parts that I wanted to remove and waited until I could refurbish them, but I needed some cash occasionally, so I just went ahead, sold everything. All right, just the caliper on this one. Caliper's fine. Pad is fine. That's not. Nope, that front wheel hub? I don't think that was what I meant to take. Ah, okay. I highlighted the wrong part to put it on my shopping list. There we go. According to this, the brake job is done. I'm at 361. I started this job with was somewhere around $700, give or take. So if I close this, I'm up to 903. So that was a short job, simple. Gave me 150, 200 bucks, something like that. Um, not quite enough to get that license though. So I need to do another one. Car is loud. Hmm. All these quote unquote other tasks concern me. Especially with such a narrow profit margin that I've got going on here. Let's do an other task and see what it is. Ah, just the fluids. I can do just the fluids. I can just barely do just the fluids. Running on a little bit of a tight ship here. This is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and fill. I just realized I didn't need to replace those fluids, I just needed to refill them, but it's fine. Here we go. That should be it. So that cost me about 50 bucks in fluids.
and it got me 73 bucks full payment. Not bad. It's going to take me a little while to build back up again. So I have gotten myself into a little bit of a mess here. So let's see if I can get myself out of it. All right, a handful of fluid and filter changes later, and I've managed to scrape together enough cash to get this license plate done so that I can finish that order and then hopefully get a decent chunk of change out of it. Done. Order. Done. 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 And there's $11,000. So, a little bit of scraping, but we managed to get that job done. And now I'm not feeling quite as panicked. Uh, took a little bit of effort to wait for jobs that I could actually accomplish. Uh, but it's fine. We, we got there in the end. It's totally fine. Let's try to find another complicated one. Transmission is not responsive. Fix and find all gearbox problems. Let's try that one. That one seems a little bit... Uh, a little bit more complicated. Let's see if we can take this to path. And see if that helps at all. Front and rear brake problems, great. And suspension problems, great. I'm gonna end up having to take this whole car apart, aren't I? The whole the whole thing, everything wheel related is dead. Good thing I have $11,000 to work with. Oh boy. Let's see what else we can do. Alright, all of that's broken. Wonderful. This car is looking like it's in fantastic condition. Is $11,000 enough to rebuild a car? We'll find out. <laughs> there was one functional part there. So... I I'm running out of scanners and every single one of them has come up red. Well, orange, I guess. Hey, we have a functional spark plug. That's good. We have two. It's looking fantastic. Let me guess, the, 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 the treads are dead too? Yep. And uh, that, I think that's all of them. That That's every single tester that I've got access to and every single one of them came up bad. Let's do the regular old just peek. Kinda shouldn't have looked. Everything's bad. Every single bit of it. Great, this is turning out wonderful. Yeah, essentially, if it can be malfunctioning, 
it is or is very close to it. Great. So, that being said, what do they actually want me to fix? <laughs> Part not discovered. All of that stuff that I tested. And part not discovered. Great. Okay. So transmission's not responsive. And gearbox problems. Okay. Well, let's let's put it in. Not not outside. That was the wrong button. Let's put it inside. The good news is, is despite how terrible this car is, they don't actually want me to fix most of it. I've only discovered one of the three parts, and one was the clutch pressure plate. So, I need to take apart the gearbox and figure out the rest of it. It might even be the housing itself, based on how bad it looks. Um, sure? Let's do that. drive shaft so I can get to the gearbox So the gearbox itself is at 10%. Is that something that they want me to take care of? Yes, that is something they want me to take care of. Okay, good. Clutch release bearing looks acceptable. Pressure plate they want me to remove. And probably the flywheel, honestly. Yeah, that, that flywheel was, I think, where it was at. There we go. Okay, so that's all three of those parts. The gearbox itself, pressure plate, and the flywheel. So now I can just get those added to my list. Uh, let me clear out my list first. List, list, and list. This wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be based on how badly those tests were going. So. Kind of a good thing, actually. One flywheel, one pressure plate, and one gearbox. Now, that is an expensive part, but it's it's fine. That's what $11,000 is for. Come on. Here we go. Now, since I have enough spare cash, I'm going to keep the spare gearbox here, and at some point, I should be able to refurbish that. Let's get your barely functional starter back in place. And reattach that drive shaft, and we should be good. They are happy as can be with their barely functional car. Great. But that was $3,000 profit, so definitely worthwhile. Uh, it's, it's much more worthwhile doing the more difficult jobs once you've got the cash to be able to buy the spare parts or if you've got the means to fix and repair them. But I think that will be it for me. I have enjoyed the heck out of this game and I'm looking forward to playing a lot more. Thank you everyone for joining me. See you next time.